The economy feels good, the consumer feels good partially for what I would argue is a bad reason is the housing market is overheated already. And the reason why is that we're not building up housing. We continue to believe that sub-market analysis is really the best hedge against capital markets volatility. If we actually consider the competitive environment, right, um, and get away from the three-mile demographic, what we're finding is that the pricing really hasn't adjusted for the weakness that we see in the market. You're starting to see these million square foot Amazon buildings in Richmond and in Delaware and seemingly random places when it comes to, as it relates to the size and the maturity of the uh, logistics market. So this is something very important to watch. But the question is how much longer will this go on? Is this in fact sustainable? And if demographics are destiny, then how will demographics shift how will home ownership changes impact either increases in renter households or declines in renter households as home ownership comes back into vogue?